Hello YouTube, this is The Rock 14 and today I will be showing you how to modify your Nerf gun or make it strong, whatever you want to call it. Alright, what you will need is a screwdriver, either Phillips head or flathead, whatever screws your gun is, and uh, your hands. You won't need gloves or anything. Alright, well, first what you want to do is take your screwdriver and unscrew every screw you need to to take it off. And I already did this before I uh, before I started this video. So you just take everything off. All right, hang on. I don't think I, I think I missed one. Yeah, I missed the screw. Hang on. You might want to pause the video and unscrew them, or you can just watch all the way through. Doesn't matter. Okay, so once you unscrewed everything, and now you took it apart, just uh, these things, well, all you need to do is find out where your spring is. Mine is in here. Yeah, uh, I hope you can see that. Okay, now what you want to do is just, so nothing flies out. Okay, yeah, I didn't do that right. But still, as long as you don't lose any springs, you'll be fine. Now, all you have to do is get the spring and you just stretch it out. You don't have to take it off, depending on what gun it is. But you just stretch out your spring. Don't stretch it out too much, because then it'll... Uh, you won't be able to cock it back or might mess up the spring altogether. Alright, well, once you stretch out your spring as much as you want, remember not too much, you just put it back the way you had it. And make sure, sometimes, if you could, I don't know if you can see that ridge right there. But sometimes they'll have that. Well, I'm pretty sure all of them have it, just in a different way. Make sure that uh, is on. Oh, which side is it? For me, it'd be on top. Because my trigger mechanism is there, and it locks onto that. Okay, now what you do is you just put it back together. Put it back together wherever you uh, had it, and I'm going to do that off camera, and I'll be back. Okay, now after you put your spring back, and make sure that everything's in the, its correct spot, and you're not missing any parts, then it's time to put it back together. And again, I'm going to do that off camera, so my video is not too long, and you should know how to put it back together because you took it apart. Might not even be the same gun. Alright, I'll be back. Okay, now, once you screw everything back on, if you want to make it shoot an extra, like, 5-10 feet, depending on your gun, just drill out the inside where the dart would go, drill out that air suppressor, and then you're done. Now, if you, uh, like this video, if, if this, like this video, if this helped you, and feel free to watch some of my other videos, subscribe, you know, leave a comment on if, leave a comment if I missed something. Alright, uh, see ya.